This is Bodog Fight. From Russia with love. Welcome to Bodog Fight. Welcome back to round two. Roman Zentsov of the Russian Red Devil team in the camouflage shorts. That heavyweight taking on Kristoff Madu in the red. It was an action-packed first round. Let's see how much they learned of their opponents here. It looked like he tried to check that kick. And there you see Madu once again showing why he is called the Hurricane. Oh, nice jab to Zensov right on the bridge of the nose, but he counters with a leg kick. Oh, and a good heavy right hook to the head. Zensov obviously not phased by what he took, but Madu popping right back to his feet as well. And if there is a lull or stall in the action, Troy Wa will step in, but Madu. No. Sneaks around for a potential guillotine show. Oh, he was going to use the knee, but Zensov backs out. Both of these warriors absorbing punches that would knock out a normal man. That kick of Zensov lands just about every time he throws it at that left leg of Madu. Then you see Madu, he's trying to keep a little bit lighter. Uh, stance off the front foot so the uh, leg kicks don't hurt as bad if Zensov just decides to throw another one. Yeah, you see Madu kicking more often, but Zensov is kicking more judiciously. Seems like, as you said, Lon, he's picking his spot so the kicks are infrequent, but they almost always land. Oh, a big right hand again lands oh. on Madu, and Madu comes back. <laughs> oh, Madu. Wow. Madu looked like he was trying to set up the anaconda choke, but Zensov too thick. So now swiveling to the back and sinking the hooks in. He's in trouble. Zensov is in trouble. Madu. He's got the choke. He's on his way. You see deep swelling in the left leg of Madu from those leg kicks. He does not have a clean shot on that choke. Zensov needs to do his best to completely power out of this. Take back what I said about the heavyweights. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to call you on that eventually. <laughs> move, moving fluidly like the, I mean, he moved around the back of Zensov like, like he was weightless. So oh. Zensov doing what he can to control that right arm of Madu, trying to keep his airway clear. If that forearm gets underneath his chin, he is in dire trouble. So far, Zensov able to thwart the efforts of a choke by Madu. And he's, he's trying his best to turn into him, but Madu has both hooks in. Zensov momentarily, uh, uh, about 20 seconds ago, tried to push the foot down of Madu. You can step over it, do an ankle lock, but he realized that, uh, oh, nice There's escape. And now it is Zensov on top. And Madu threw a short right to the chin of Zensov just as the Russian fighter turned on him. Once again, a closed guard from Madu. Uh, I was just about to say closed guard, meaning that he's maybe not too enthusiastic about working too many submissions, but just as I said that, he opened his guard and attempted a sweep. Back closed now is the guard. That left leg really showing the punishment of Zensov's kicks. And Troy Wall will stop them and bring them on their feet. And Madu really feeling the effort of trying to control Roman Zensov. Round two action continues. It's like two, uh, two cars just smashing into each other just like that. That's four kicks to that leg. And you see Madu, he once again picks the leg up off the ground. Oh, wow. wow. A spinning heel hook kick to the back of the head of Madu and follows with heavy punches. Madu in trouble. Loving blows to oh, the head of Madu. Out. Madu is down. And that is it. A huge left hand by Roman Zensov. Caught Christoph Madu on the side of the head and dropped him. And Troy Waugh announces the fight is over. The Russian fighter has won it. Incredible conservation of resources. Incredible battle plan by Roman Zensov. Being a heavyweight, he didn't want to burn his tank dry. He waited for his spots, he picked his spots, and when he smelled blood, he went for the kill. And look at the respect. 
All right, let's get the official announcement. 4-12, second round. Winner. Roman Zentoff at 4-12 with a TKO of Christoph Madu. And what a flurry to finish that fight, guys. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of heavyweight fights that I have not liked. And, and thus far, the last several shows Bodog has produced, I've seen some of the best heavyweight battles in recent years. I'm looking forward to seeing both these guys back in the Bodog fight ring. He started it with a spinning heel hook that ended up on the back of Madu's head and then followed up with some tremendous punches, dropped Madu to his knees, and that spelled the end. Roman Zentsov goes away a victor, 14-10-0. Christoph Madu showed very well, and I'm sure we'll see these guys match up again. Roman is both physically and mentally strong. It wasn't going to be a game against him. I knew it. The referee stopped a little bit too early, in my opinion. It's just a pity that a war like this is stopped this way. Even if I don't have to fight against him ever, it's a pity because we both accepted the fight and today it ended like that. I didn't cut to the chase in the first five minutes. It was not an aggressive fight. It was an equal fight. And overall, my strategy worked. This fight didn't do much. I am not better and he's not worse. Like two grown men, we came out into the ring and then rose about it in experience. It was hard for me to fight because he is a Russian. Otherwise, he is a good fighter. And I hope that we have shown a bright and colorful fight.